Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Today in this important video lecture I will discuss civil engineering basic knowledge. Guys, this knowledge is very important for every civil engineering student. If they are working on construction site, if they are studying, even if they are free. So you should learn about the basic knowledge. Guys, this is part first and I will create the part second, third, fourth, etc. Okay. So let's get started. If this video is helpful for you, so must like this video. Guys, the first one is you should know what is the weight of one big cement. Okay. So the weight of one big cement is 50 kgs. Weight of one cement bag is 50 kgs. Okay. The second one is guys density of cement. Okay. So the density of cement is in meter cube or in cubic meter that is 1440 kgs per meter cube. This is density of cement. Okay. The third one is guys minimum thickness of slab guys we have about 15 points. Okay. As you can see till 15 we have. All right. The third one is minimum thickness of the slab. How minimum thickness of the slab guys you can see here. This is top slab. Okay. And guys, you can see this is the section, cross section. So the thickness of the slab should be minimum 0 0.125 meter or 125 millimeters. Okay. Thickness of slab. Okay. Minimum. Next, guys, you can see the fourth one is C slash C means center to center distance okay so c slash c especially we are using in steel structure design for the slab or for any uh, member rcc members like guys you can see this is slab so we are providing main bars and distribution bars okay guys you can see these are distribution bars and these are main bars okay so the space between two steel rods so we can say c slash c for example six inches okay r c slash c is equal 0 0.125 meter etc okay so it means spacing between two steel rods okay next one guys you can see thickness of dpc dam proof course which should not be less than 2.5 centimeter or one inch right the sixth one is guys dl means development length what is development length guys you can see here this is beam okay so inside this beam i am providing uh, the steel rods okay in long section so guys you can see these are steel rods okay so this one steel is coming to the downside and this one is going to the upward side so guys this length is called this length okay from here to here this is called dl means development length okay so this is called development length as you can see which makes a good bond between steel and concrete okay so at the end we are providing these the next one is guys seventh slope of steer should be between 25 to 40 angles what does it means guys you can see this is a wall this is steel okay this angle guys you can see these are steps okay so this angle should be between 25 to 40 degree okay it should not be more than 40 degree otherwise uh, uh, the uh, the people will face more problems when they are uh, using these stairs okay so the angle should not be between 25 to 40 degree next one guys you can see here eight the riser and steers in between 150 to 100 riser mean as you can see in the steps okay so you can see this is called riser so it should be between 150 to 200 millimeters this height okay and the next one this is called trade this okay so the trade should be 250 to 300 mm right this one so the one is riser 
the vertical is riser the horizontal is straight and steer so it means the riser and steer is between in between 150 to 200 mm and the trade 250 to 300 millimeter okay this is very important useful the next one is guys ninth the number of bricks required in one meter cube anyone can ask from you how many numbers are required in one meter cube okay so 550 numbers of bricks are required in one meter cube okay next one guys you can see m20 grade concrete generally used in construction of slab so what is m20 grade concrete m20 uh, means m20 ratio is one date three okay one ratio 1.5 ratio three this is the ratio of concrete for m20 so it's generally used for the construction of slab okay guys the 10th one is the 11th one is unit weight of steel the formula is d square divided by 162 in kg per meter this is weight of steel for one meter so how you can find the total weight of steel okay so guys remember this d should be in millimeter for example i'm using the formula so which is d squared divided by 162 okay so is equal for example i am using the dia this is steel rod okay which dia is 12 millimeter okay so the formula will be 12 multiply 12 divided by 162 so it will become 0 0.88 kg per meter so this is the weight of steel for 12 millimeter dia of steel rod okay so with the running length you can also multiply right that's the 12th one is lapping should shouldn't be provided for the dia more than 36 millimeter how for example guys you can see this is a steel rod if the dia is more than 36 36 millimeter or 36 so the lapping should not be provided this is lapping guys you can see okay so the lapping should not be provided for this okay less than this you can use okay so for this you can use the coupler method or any other one guys the 13th one is max pre fall of concrete okay so pre fall of concrete when we are uh, using our uh, during pouring of concrete and slab or in any member rcc member we are providing the uh, concrete so the concrete height should not be more than 1.5 meter so max free fall should not be more than 1.5 meter otherwise it will make the bleeding segregation etc and you will face the problem therefore remember this point the 14th one is guys compressive strength of brick is 7.5 newton per mm square compressive strength of concrete okay it should not be less than this it doesn't mean it should be uh, 7.5 but it should not be less than the compressive strength of the brick should not be less than 7.5 newton per mm square generally guys the last one is number of bricks okay sorry number of uh, number of bars okay so how you can uh, find the number of bars so the number of bars you can uh, find length of opposite side for example in slab so length of opposite side divided by spacing c slash c plus one then you can find the total numbers of steel rods and slab so guys this is the important video which i have discussed the front of you about civil engineering basic knowledge hope it can help you in the future on construction side or anywhere so wait for the next video which will be part two of civil engineering basic knowledge so guys thanks for watching see you in next video Goodbye.